In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA preseason games happening on October 11, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one college football game after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Louisiana vs. Marshall It's a crossover battle in the Sun Belt as a pair of conference rivals take the field to do battle down in the Mountaineer State. The Louisiana Rajan Cajuns are on the road as they make the trip to take on the Marshall Thundering Herd Wednesday night. Louisiana came up on the wrong end of a 20-17 decision to South Alabama at home in their previous contest October 1st. Marshall knocked off FCS program Gardner Webb 28-7 at home in their most recent game on October 1st. Both teams have been in the middle of the pack with their overall records heading into this matchup. The Rajan Cajuns are 2-3 and are riding a three-game losing streak after losing back on October 1st at home to the South Alabama Jaguars. Junior quarterback Ben Woldridge was not able to push the ball down the field as he was 1-8 of 2-9 for just 90 yards with a touchdown and an interception passing and ran the ball nine times for 36 yards. The Thundering Herd are doing pretty well with a 3-2 record now and are coming off of a home win over the Gardner-Webb Bulldogs. Senior quarterback Henry Columbi had a decent game as he went 1-3 of 2-0 for 138 yards with a pair of touchdowns and an interception. These teams have met just once as FBS opponents in their history with Louisiana claiming a 36-21 triumph in the New Orleans Bowl at the Caesars Superdome on December 18, 2021. The Rajan Cajuns are 3-7 against the spread in their last 10 road games and 5-2 two against the spread in their last seven games overall. The Thundering Herd are 8-25 against the spread in their last 33 home games and 2-5 against the spread in their last seven games overall. The Under is 27-11-1 in Rajan Cajun's last 39 games overall. The Under is 4-1 in Thundering Herd last five games overall. College Football Week 7 gets underway with a midweek matchup between two Sun Belt teams looking for their first conference victory. Marshall had that memorable upset over Notre Dame in September, but it's limp to 1-2 to two overall and 0-3 to three against the spread in the three games since. This week, the Thundering Herd will face a Louisiana squad that's lost three straight outright with a 1-2 to two mark against the spread. Marshall comes in with one of the best scoring defenses in the country, allowing only 16 points per game. The defense allows just 71 rushing yards per game and boasts a plus six turnover margin this season. In their lone Sun Belt matchup this season, the Herd held Troy to 16 points on the road and forced three turnovers, though the offense did them in. This Marshall defense will make life difficult for a Louisiana offense that will be without starting quarterback Chandler Fields. The key to Marshall's offensive success centers around talented running back Colin Laburn, who's already racked up 781 rushing yards and eight touchdowns over just five games. The former Florida State back is the herd's workhorse and is the key difference maker in this game. Louisiana's defense gave up 227 rushing yards in its last road matchup against Ole Monroe, ultimately leading to the loss. If Marshall can lean on Laburn's rushing prowess and string together some long, grinding possessions while the defense does its job, then a lead can easily stretch into the double digits. Both teams have not played since October 1st, so that means the extra few days before playing here is not going to have a distinct advantage one way or another. However, the advantage here will go to the home team as they will be playing in front of a partisan crowd and Marshall fans can be raucous which will help their already very strong defense. Speaking of defense, Marshall is allowing opponents to score only 16 points per game and at home Marshall's defense is allowing an average of only 5 points per game. The Marshall offense is averaging 29 points per game and at home, Marshall is averaging at 30 points per game. Louisiana is just the opposite as overall Louisiana is allowing an average of 20 and a half points per game but on the road the Rajan Cajuns are giving up an average of 27 points per game. It is therefore not a surprise that Louisiana has failed to cover the spread seven times in its last 
10 games on the road. Marshall will also be looking to avenge last year's loss to Louisiana in the New Orleans Bowl to wrap up the season. That was when the Herd were members of Conference USA before joining the Sun Belt this offseason. Marshall Thundering Herd are the better team and have put together the better body of work. Look for the conference's newcomers to make a statement in this rematch. So the Marshall Thundering Herd to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. In this rare Wednesday night college football game, Louisiana and Marshall will benefit from a bit of extra rest having both last played on October 1st. Those few additional days to prepare for this pivotal Sun Belt matchup cannot go overlooked when it comes to the defensive side of the ball. We should expect these defenses on both sides to be well prepared and rested as both the Thundering Herd and Rajan Cajuns battle for their first conference victories of the year. Louisiana has stayed under the number in three of their five games this season. In the Rajan Cajuns games this season, we've seen combined point totals of 31 versus Southeastern Louisiana, 70 versus Eastern Michigan, 54 versus Rice, 38 versus Ole Monroe, and 37 versus South Alabama this season. Vegas Sportsbooks had totals for those games set at 60 and a half, 56, 51 and a half, 51 and 46 and a half points, respectively. Marshall, on the other hand, has stayed under the mark in four of their five games. The Thundering Herd have posted combined point totals of 58 versus Norfolk State, 47 versus Notre Dame, 65 versus Bowling Green, 23 versus Troy, and 35 versus Gardner Webb this season. In those games, Vegas had totals set at 59, 47 and a half, 50, 51 and a half, and 56 points, respectively. For Marshall, its defense has been a strength this season. The Herd are allowing only 16 points per game and are more comfortable playing in lower scoring games. Louisiana has backup quarterback Ben Wildrig in line to start, which should keep the Cajuns' scoring chances at a minimum in this tough road environment. In conjunction with a stalwart defense, the Marshall offense is better suited for grinded out matchups like this one. The Hurt offensive attack leans on the run game with stud RB Colin Laburn, who regularly sees 25 to 30 touches with 100 plus rushing yards per game. The Hurt are 4 to 1 to the under this season and the lone over came against a bowling green squad that is already 5 to 1 to the over. That one was a real outlier and we can expect Marshall to continue its trend of playing in slower paced games with a strong defense and run oriented offense. On the other side, Louisiana is 3 to 2 to the under and both of its conference matchups have been of the low-scoring variety. Marshall is allowing an average of only 5 points per game at home while Louisiana is scoring an average of only 19 points per game on the road. In two home games this season, one of which was against FCS member Gardner Webb, the Thunder Herd have allowed an average of only 114 total yards of offense. The Under has hit in six of the previous seven Thundering Herd games as well as in each of the last seven Rajan Cajuns games following a straight-up loss. Both teams are mediocre offensively and very good defensively. This game ends up below the total number. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.